This video is an exploration of the topic, finding nth roots of perfect nth powers with sines. Recall the expression the nth root of a. We can break this expression down into four different cases and show what happens when a differs in sines and when there is a leading negative involved. Let's begin! These are the four cases that we are going to examine within this video. Notice that the cases differ by the number within the radical being either positive or negative, and whether or not there is a leading negative outside of the radical. Also, note that case 2 and case 4 have two subcases each. This is because the number within the radical is negative, so depending on whether n is odd or even, the answer will differ. What do you think will happen with this first case when a is positive, as in the case of the cubed root of 8? I believe that if a is positive, as in this case, the resulting number should also be positive. Right. In this case, we can break down the 8 into a 2 and a 4, then that 4 into a 2 and a 2, and because there are three 2s, we can pull a single 2 out of the root because the number n is a 3, and the 8 is composed of three 2s. Now, because both n and a are positive, the resulting number is positive 2. Let's move on to case 2 when n is a negative number. Now, this case must be divided into two subcases because the result differs when n is odd versus when n is even. So, when there is a negative number inside of the root, I assume that this cannot result in a real number. Actually, in the case where n is odd, we can see from the tree that three negative twos result from the negative eight on the inside. So this case equals negative two, because a negative number multiplied three times together results in a negative number. Where your reasoning is correct is when n is even, as in the case of the fourth root of negative 16. Okay, so in this case, the answer would be not a real number, because looking at the tree, we can see that there are three negative twos and one positive two. Because one is positive, there are not four iterations of the same number, so this would result in not a real number being the answer. Exactly. Now, we want to look at what happens to the expression when there is a leading negative sign in front. In this case, we take what we had in the first case and add a negative sign in front of the entire radical. So the resulting number is a negative number because the solution of root 3 of positive 8 yields a positive 2, and with the negative sign in front, the answer becomes negative 2. Now let's move on to the last case, where a is negative and there's a negative sign in front of the entire radical. Okay, I think I get it. So in this case, we must have the two subcases again. So if n is odd, like the last example, the cubed root of negative 8 yields a negative 2. But now with the negative leading the radical, the two negatives cancel each other out, giving positive 2 as the answer. And if n is even, this expression will not be a real number because of the exact same reasoning as before. Yes, exactly. Something to note is that when n is even, the negative sign leading the radical did not change the answer because the root could not be evaluated in the first place. Just to recap, here are the four cases and the examples that we reviewed. Remember, the most important part to solving these problems is constructing the tree diagrams by breaking down the number inside of the radical to its factors.